you know, I'm going to come into it and enjoy myself and, and, and have a good bash at retaining it. It's a tournament that I think for you certainly has changed your career. Oh yeah, massively. You know, um, it's opened all these doors for me to uh, to compete in tournaments like the World Match Play and the, and the World Championships. And uh, I've got two years on the on the on the Pro Tour, which I've you know I've got into the top 64 in my first year. So um, I wouldn't have done that without that one good day in, in Crawley. And you know, uh, then Riley's qualifiers really did help. The um, the tournament this year, you're obviously going into it in a completely different position. Last time you were a virtual unknown. This time you're one of the top seeds. So it's probably a different pressure. So, yeah, it's, just, it's a weird sort of pressure, you know. Um, we played the youth tour last year, so um, I'm, I'm really, I know everyone on the tour and I know what everyone can do. Um, you've got a couple of people from Australia coming over, you don't know what they can do. Um, I don't know if there's Americans, I think there's an American guy coming over, you know, you don't know what they're going to do. So um, at the same time, you, you know everyone, but at the same time, you don't, and uh, it's all on the day, and, and that was what I proved in Crawley, so hopefully I can do it again this year. There's three or four of you down here already practicing Michael Smith, Aaron Monk, who's of course another former champion, Chris Aubrey. You're all very keen to, to get yourselves down to the O2 in a couple of months. Yeah, you know, um, I'd love to go back to the O2. Um, for myself, it was a special day, and uh, I'm sure the other guys would all would have been watching, and, and the O2 is a massive arena, so to, to play in front of 10,000 people on the Premier League finals night would be an amazing achievement, and that's hence why I think we're all quite keen to to get down here, get rid of the nerves and, and, and prepare well. Get it. Get a bomb. And Ricky Evans against uh, Michael Smith, and what a night we've had of darts here. I'm going to start with Ricky Evans first. Ricky. You won your tour card in January. You must be over the moon with the way your progression in the professional game has gone. Mm. Yeah, just love it. Just enjoying my darts. That's all I'm doing. I just luckily they're going in. <laughs> well, there's going to be ten thousand at the mm. O2. Yeah. Uh, be in between the semi-finals and the final. Mm -hmm. So uh, be your biggest crowd. Obviously, you've ever played in front of miles by miles. Yeah, I'm normally just playing in the pub. 
So this is a big step up for me. So. And of course, it's going to be a great stepping stone, you know, not only the financial side of things and the backers that you have and uh, your managing side of things. Now, you, you've, you've got to be really on a high at the moment. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah. Ever since Q School, I've just been up there and just, this is, oh, wow, TV. That's all I wanted. <laughs> well, now, Michael. Well, Michael's more of the senior out of the two. He's uh, won two tour events over the last few years. And, uh, Michael, a nine dollar tonight, and uh, your game is you're really on fire at the moment. Yeah, I've been playing like this for months. He's just finally got to get behind these barriers with the PDC, and it's just never going to end. It's going to continue the way I'm playing now. The push for the top 16 to get all the TVs guaranteed. That's what I'm forward to. Well, Michael, he is on the professional tour, so uh, this should be a walk in the park, he may think. But uh, the way the standard has gone in this youth championship and the way the youth players are playing, it's going to be an incredible final. I'm certainly going to be looking forward to it.